So, there was a lot of controversy over the fight scene in Episode 1 of Ahsoka. A lot of people rightfully complained, I think, that it had very little stakes. And while I do understand that complaint, I think it was crucial for the development of Sabine's character. One thing I thought was really interesting is that when Sabine is confronted after having solved the map, there's a shot which clearly shows her looking at her Mandalorian armor and Ezra's lightsaber under the table. That's a shot that's actually repeated several times throughout the first two episodes, kind of showing the two facets of her life, her Mandalorian culture as represented by her helmet and armor, and her new role as not quite a Jedi, but in training with Ahsoka. Of course, when pursuing the intruders, she takes the lightsaber rather than her Mandalorian weapons, and she gets humbled before later being humbled again by Hu Yang. Later, after she's healed, we get another moment where she returns to Ezra's loft, and although she's decided that she again wants to train under Ahsoka, she chooses her armor and to return to her traditional haircut. To me, this is a representation of her squaring an internal conflict she had had with herself. Is she a Mandalorian? Is she a Jedi? I think she's realized that forsaking everything that she had been in favor of trying to be this Jedi wasn't going to work. She didn't have the ability for it. It was frustrating for her and for her master. Instead, we're going to see her take Ahsoka's lessons, but while also being herself, and I think she's going to be an incredibly effective combatant that way, as she was with the Darksaber in Star Wars Rebels. But what did you think of this scene? By the way, I will agree, I think it was a mistake to inflict another non-deadly wound with the lightsaber. We gotta see less of that.